It is the 14th of the 5th, 2012. This is today's climate change update. Let's go ahead and get started on SOT.net. Rise and fall of underwater volcano revealed. The violent rise and collapse of an underwater volcano in the Pacific Ocean is captured in, the star in star startling clarity for the first time. Researchers are studying the Manawai volcano near Tonga recorded huge changes in height in just two weeks. Uh, the images gathered by the sonar from a research ship shed new light on the turbulent fate of a submarine mountains. And they published it in the journal Nature Geoscience. The findings were made during a seabed survey uh, last year. Uh, the point I wanted to make here is, is uh, I've spent my career studying the seabed and have uh, generally thought it pretty stable. It's so, stunning to, it's so stunning to see so much change in such a short space of time. As many as 32,000 underwater mountains have been identified around the world, and the majority are believed to be volcanic in origin. Several thousand of these may be active, but a combination of ocean depth and remoteness means that very few have been studied. The Earth is far more active than we can ever imagine. And mass bird deaths mystery linked to El Nino. That's the official version of why are the beaches still closed in Peru. Um, if the Chilean... <laughs> Jesus. Uh... What else? Northeast Ohio wine grapes destroyed by hard freeze. It was what grape growers in northern Ohio feared most. Early Sunday morning, temperatures in the Grand River Valley vineyards of Lake uh, dropped into the lower and middle 20s. That's not just a quick frost, it's a hard freeze. By 9 that morning, most of the primary buds, the growth that gives you the best fruit, were black and shriveled, killed by the freezing temperatures. Uh, big fruit and crop loss all around the Great Lake regions uh, due to the extreme crazy weather we've been having. Fears grips that huge North Korean volcano will soon erupt. Uh, I've been going on about this for a few weeks now. A concern is growing about a possible eruption of Mount uh, Bakdu, the highest mountain on the Korean peninsula, says an article by Park Chang Suk. And um, it's a big volcano on the north part of North Korea, uh, close to the China border, um, but definitely will have consequences on the entire peninsula if that big volcano erupts. Uh, U.S. Of, U.S. Offense Secretary Panetta, climate change is a national security threat. If they don't have enough things to worry about, now that they're going to monitor your uh, carbon emissions. Uh, unusual cold weather wiped out two of Morocco's primary crop exports. Uh, last February, more than 8,200 of the country's 87 hundreds of hectares of potatoes were ravaged, and a further 14,000 of about 21,000 hectares reserved for sugar cane were also blighted by the cold. Uh, this is particularly significant since potatoes and sugar are two of Morocco's primary export commodities. Uh, so we're having some definite troubles with them and more um, crop losses. Over to the extinction protocol. Growing more violent? Question mark. Mexico's Popo unleashes powerful ash eruption, frightening villagers. And again, this is another volcano that's at ongoing eruptions. Uh, they're looking for the big boom. And where was that other story? Got a bunch of war drums and... 2,000 uh, dead birds found along six kilometer stretch of Chilean beach, and this is the one where they, they're blaming El Nino, but uh, a lot of the conservators are saying no, this is due to uh, the oil companies offshore. And incoming CME from the sun to glance earth on May 14th. Pretty, pretty lights in the northern and southern hemispheres. 5.5 earthquake reported south of Christchurch, New Zealand. Uh, this people don't have enough problems already. Uh, they are still digging out from the big quake. Uh, two earthquakes, magnitude 3.9 and 5.5, have been detected near southern New Zealand. Uh, the 3.9 quake was near the city of Christchurch, which was damaged in 2011 by that major earthquake. 
Earthquakes off the shore of Israel and Palestine, 5.3. And worst flooding in regions of Peru seen in 20 years. And that's about all new they've got going on tonight. Again, besides the war drums and the economy stuff. A couple stories on the watchers I wanted to cover. Uh, torrential rain and hail the size of golf balls brought death and destruction to northwest China. Torrential rain and, and hail the size of golf balls struck northwestern China this weekend. Roads were blocked, houses collapsed, farmlands destroyed, and power supplies and telecommunication services uh, were disrupted by the extreme weather. And I was seeing reports up to 40 deaths and uh, still several people missing. And where was the other story here? A new massive fault line discovered beneath Mount Fuji. That's the big volcano overlooking Tokyo. And a recent finished three-year study from Japan has discovered a new fault line running beneath Mount Fuji, which towers 37, 3,800 feet above, or meters above sea level. It has a potential for a 7.0 quake or better. Drought hits Spain's wheat crop. Spain has faced the driest winter ever recorded. It has raised red flags in Spain where farmers face the threat of extreme drought. Grain crops in Spain are suffering after an unusually dry autumn and winter. The amount of rainfall has just been half the normal in key grain producing areas. Uh, the, the analysis reached on May 10, 2012, uh, the USDA Foreign Agricultural Services projected when Spain's wheat production will drop by 20%, and uh, everything else is down the line. One story off the RSOE I wanted to cover today, extreme weather in Bosnia and, Her and Herzegovina. Sunbathing one day, snowstorm the next. Bosnians are getting whiplash from the latest crazy weather to hit the Balkans. Weeks after the Bosnians have stashed away their winter clothes and their memories of last winter's unbearably heavy snow, residents had to drag out the shovels on Monday after waking up to a blanket of snow in the middle of an otherwise unusually hot May. Again, the crazy weather continues. Over to the nuclear stuff real quick. Uh, let's go to any news. A physicist, Unit 2 completely liquefied, 100% liquefaction of the uranium cores. We've never seen this before in the history of nuclear power. And number two is the one where they increase the water flow into the building, uh, the pressure's rising and the temperature's rising, and uh, a lot of crazy things are going on in this melting down nuclear reactor. We have three of them. Michio Kaiku speaks up on spent fuel pool number four. People don't realize it's on a knife's edge near the tipping point. And uh, yes, a very extreme situation going on. Young girl covered in mud during decontamination effort in former Fukushima evacuation zone. Ban on entering area lifted only last month. And uh, I will cover that a little more extensively right here at the end. Radioactive rats with highest level of cesium found 70 kilometers from Fukushima plant, as sensitive to radiation as humans. Japan Prime Minister Hedges when asked about spent fuel pool number four. Fears revived after U.S. Senators warning of huge disaster that remains in Fukushima. Yeah, if it isn't bad enough already. Uh, nuclear expert, I believe, entire number four fuel pool had drained to the point where boiling occurred. Footage shows top of fuel racks were exposed into the air. And you got to remember, this was the fire that happened 98 days after, and uh, nobody seemed to catch a, a glimpse of it. But here's another story. Footage of explosion at number four said to exist. And there's a video attached with that. Uh just goes on and on. Gunnarsson's um, presentation, pellets of nuclear fuel were scattered around Fukushima site. Pieces, not atoms, but pieces. Hydrogen will not create explosions seen at unit number three. Um, so a lot more went on than took place. Of course, the stories go on and on on ENA News. I highly encourage you to follow this site every day. And uh, finally tonight over to EXSKF, uh, the blog site. <clears throat> Radioactive Japan volunteers include small children. Plant rice just outside 20 kilometer radius in Fukushima Prefecture. And this is the photo of the little girl covered in mud. 
both the small girl and her mother are planting with bare hands and bare feet the locations um, as, as in Fukushima Prefecture, just outside the 20-kilometer no-entry zone and the inside the former evacuation-ready zone, uh, which was abolished in September of last year. So they got little kids uh, volunteering to go out and plant rice in radioactive rice paddy fields uh, in Fukushima, Japan. The insanity continues. <laughs> Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.